If we believe that the universe, as Carl Sagan once said, is everything that ever was or is or will be, if in fact we accept the Big Bang hypothesis, then it is definitely a closed system. There is nothing being added to the cosmos we observe that is approving the order of the cosmos as a whole. So it's a closed system. Things move towards a condition of disorder. And if the universe had been here eternally, it would be totally disordered. The atheist assumption that there was no beginning is not justified in terms of the available evidence. And I believe that the reason that atheists would like to suggest there was no beginning is because it eliminates a problem for them. The problem being that if they admit a beginning, they have to deal with the question of cause. Now, many atheists will say, well, I, I, I believe there was a beginning. Well, then the question becomes immediately, all right, if you admit there was a beginning, then what was the cause of the beginning? We are assuming you exist. We're assuming reality. We're assuming the physical universe is real and our experience is real. So we're assuming that the universe does exist and we have shown that there was a beginning. Now the question becomes next, so it's either not caused or it's caused. And by the way, in recent years there's been a very slick atheist argument on this because people have said, well, how do you know that something can't come into existence out of nothing? by some weird new process we know nothing about, which invalidates all known science. Now again, we're talking about evidence. And the quote in the first presentation that we made about Stephen Hawking is in this particular area. If you suggest that something can come from nothing, whether it's some process we haven't understood in the past or not, then everything known to modern science is wrong. If something can come from nothing, then the law of conservation of matter energy is wrong, which means everything in chemistry is wrong. And I can hear my chemistry students saying, ah, oh, now I know why I'm flunking chemistry. No, 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 no. It has something to do with oxidation states and all of that. If something can come from nothing, then the law of conservation of angular momentum is wrong, which means everything in classical physics is wrong. If something can come from nothing, then the law of conservation of electric charge is wrong, which means everything in electronics is wrong, and your computer doesn't work. Now, <laughs> your computer may not work, but that's not the reason. All known science goes in a trash can. If you accept the proposition that something can come from nothing, we're talking about evidence here. We're talking about what we can observe, experimentally verify, to suggest that something can come from nothing, invalidating all known science, is not listening to the evidence, is not looking objectively at the things that we know to be true in the physical world.